So I'm gonna show you how to make cauliflower rice. It's a real staple in my house, mainly because it's actually quicker to make than boiling up regular rice. And it's also much healthier because rather than eating, you know, a bowl full of kind of processed grain, you're eating in disguise a cauliflower. So all you need to do is just take off the end of the cauliflower, the base, and then remove the leaves. And we're not gonna be using those, so you can just pop them in the bin. Another reason why this uh, cauliflower rice might be better than regular rice is if you're um, on a quest to lose some body fat or lose some weight because it's much lower on the carb front as well. But it's also really high um, in a specific type of plant compound which really supports your liver. And your liver is really important uh, organ to look after if your goal is fat loss because it helps with um, your body burning body fat. Um, if, your body, if your liver is too busy and it's uh, backlogged with a lot of kind of jobs and kind of too toxic, then fat burning doesn't happen. So that's just a side. Um, so once you've removed the base of your cauliflower, you want to break it up into little florets. It doesn't really matter about the size because we're going to be blending it anyway. But as consistent as possible so it will all blend evenly. So it kind of round about that size is perfect. And then what you're gonna do is you're not gonna cook it, you're just gonna put these raw cauliflower florets directly into your food processor. Now one quick tip, depending on the strength of your food processor, if you've got a kind of real um, powerful one, then all you need to do is put them all in together. If your blender is slightly uh, less powerful, then just do it in two batches. Blend it for around about a minute, but I'll show you the consistency that you're looking for. That was about kind of 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And you're looking for the consistency of kind of couscous like. So as you can see here, you've got it broken up. And that is essentially your cauliflower rice. Now to cook this, you can just put it in a, a frying pan with about two tablespoons worth of coconut oil and fry maybe about seven, eight cardamom pods just for about a minute until they go slightly, uh, until you can start smelling the cardamom. And then just transfer all of your cauliflower rice into the pan and fry it for on a kind of medium heat for about five minutes and that is all you need to do. Now I made this for my dad and he watched me from start to finish cook the cauliflower rice and I made it with a curry and at the end he said oh that is I can't believe it's um, you know cauliflower so again how much cauliflower did you use to rice I can't remember how much rice went in so there's zero rice that goes into this recipe it's purely cauliflower and you'll be amazed at how rice like it is and um, so there's no kind of deprivation um, you're not obviously being um, shortchanged for a not as nice a recipe. So it's so delicious and you can use it either as a base of a salad and you can chuck in things like sun-dried tomatoes, um, olives work really amazingly, uh, chopped up parsley and it can form the base of a salad. Or you can use it when you would ordinarily use kind of regular rice. So with curries it's really great um, and it's yeah much lower on the carb front and much better for your liver. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. Um, for more recipes like this, so really kind of handy tips for, uh, to help you lead a kind of healthier lifestyle, um, head on over to jessipes.co.uk and sign up to my newsletter, which goes out every Tuesday and every Thursday and contains more recipes and healthy inspiration to help you keep lean. Um, so enjoy, 